down here in the K-Wings locker room with head coach Nick Bulin. Coach, the team comes out, bit of a teeter-totter match starting the first period. You guys come out in the second period, answer right back, and, and never really looked back. Yeah, it, it seemed like our game plan was to get pucks to the net whenever we had a chance and um, to make sure that uh, we took pucks and bodies to the net as often as possible tonight. So um, a true test of playing that team in Fort Wayne, and we know that they had uh, not their regular goaltender in net, but we wanted to make sure that we kept putting pucks on them and make it difficult for them. So, you know, it was a little bit of a seesaw battle, um, a little too loose defensively uh, in the first period in the first period and a half, but we seemed to tighten up um, as the game went on and we're able to close up the game tonight. Talk about Matt Carey, his ninth for hat trick, obviously, and assist. Four point night for him. Uh, first hat trick for the K Wings in 202 games since Darren Archibald did it in 2012. A huge night for Matty Ice. That's amazing that you know these stats, Benjamin. You did a great job tonight digging that out of the archives. That's impressive work. So I wouldn't have known who had the last hat trick. Darren Archibald, obviously, a sick player, made it all the way to the NHL after playing here and working with us. So Matt Carey is a guy who uh, his game seems to get better the second half of the year every year. Um, that line. Nagy, Neal, and Carrier were outstanding tonight. And not just the points. They made good decisions. They made good decisions in the neutral zone when to skate the puck, when to place the puck behind their D because they were getting shut down so they didn't turn pucks over. You know, they used their creativity below the top of the circles and they were rewarded for their hard work tonight as a line. you got to give a little bit of credit to Mike Verduno on that one. He dug up some of those stats too. Uh, but you look at tonight's game, you extend your point lead over Wheeling, going into Wheeling. Four point lead going going into uh, West Virginia on Friday. Big game for you. Well, we know that we have to. Um, we're in control of our destiny because of the situation of where we're at. Um, we have a lot of big games coming up, a lot of travel coming up. But at the same time, um, if we continue to win games, they have to catch us. We don't have to catch them. And we like where we are right now, and that can change if you have a cold spell or you have a bad weekend. Uh, but that's the reality of where we put ourselves um, because of that stretch in November and, and that little seesaw February that we had. So we put ourselves in that position and the position we want to be in um, you know with this many games to go but at the same time we're going to be a, a, a sharp on our game and prepared to push. Thanks a lot coach like we mentioned you'll be down in Wheeling West Virginia on Friday. Thanks a lot Nicholas. Thank you Benjamin.